D this morning. Unity Point Health Methodist has a new T-CAR procedure. Here to tell us more about Unity Point's new approach for patients who need carotid artery treatment is Dr. Scott Reed and Dr. Jan Namaslowski. Good to see you both. Thanks for coming. Good morning. Good morning. Remind us what the carotid artery does and why it's so important. So the carotid arteries are important because of the main blood supply to your brain. And unfortunately, there are hundreds of thousands of people every year who suffer strokes and a major portion of those can be related to areas of narrowing or blockage in the carotid arteries and unfortunately for many of those patients the first symptom is when they have a stroke so what we find is that those patients do the best if we can actually catch them before they're having symptoms because then those outcomes really are the best for those patients sure and tell us about t-car and how that can help out well uh, this is uh, one of the um spectrum of procedures, if you will, that are in current practice to treat carotid artery disease. Uh, basically, we're dealing with a plaque that results in narrowing of the carotid artery and can cause symptoms of stroke uh, or insufficient uh, blood flow to the brain. So historically, this was treated by uh, surgical means, by open surgery and removing the plaque and possibly putting a patch on it. The first procedure of that kind was done uh, in the 50s. Uh, Subsequently, uh, carotid stenting came into play, uh, meaning access into a groin artery and then threading a special device, uh, kind of like a mesh wire, if you will, uh, sort of like a Chinese finger trap equivalent mm -hmm. that is delivered in the area where the narrowing is and then expanded to improve the blood flow to the plane and brain and to tuck in the plaque. Um, TCAR is sort of a natural evolution of this, wherein instead of gaining access into the groin artery, we gain access into the artery, carotid artery, just above the collarbone, uh, therefore minimizing the distance and also avoiding potential plaque disruption that may be in the area of the aortic arch, which sometimes causes the stroke during the procedure as well. And in clinical trials, TCAR has been demonstrated to have the lowest incidence of procedure-related stroke. It sounds like it's a little less invasive. Uh, you're going, you're not covering as much of the body. Well, all of this is uh, the, the two percutaneous or endovascular, as we call it, uh, means of, uh, of treating the disease are uh, minimally invasive. It's not open surgery, really. Um, but again, the advantage of TCAR is that uh, it has a lowest incidence of stroke, although it is not uh, applicable to all patients. Uh, there are certain anatomic constraints that sometimes will not make a patient candidate for that procedure. Sure. Well, with this approach, I mean, it, it sounds like it's going to be helping a lot of people. Uh, ideally, like you said, you want to try and catch the stroke before it happens. Any uh, quick advice before we go for people, uh, things they can do, be proactive to hopefully not have a stroke? The easiest thing you can do is ask your primary care provider to take their stethoscope and listen to your neck. That's the way we commonly pick these up. Um, it's a cheap, simple test. Um, that's how most of these are identified. Okay. Well, that's great advice. And uh, again, to find out more about the T-CAR procedure and what Unity Point is doing with that to help folks out, go to our website, ciproud.com. We're going to post all the information right there. Doctors, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.